Good afternoon, Mike Winkler here. I wanted to take a minute and I wanted to talk about the new App Assistant in QRadar. Okay, specifically, we've had an App Assistant for a while, but it's been uh, it's been a dashboard and it's really been kind of ugly. It's been functional, but it really has been a little difficult to work with and not the most fun thing ever. But recently, right in the last couple of weeks, the QRadar App Assistant version two has come out. And um, it was the same old thing. I went out to the App Exchange and I found it right here, downloaded it, and it did take me a couple of minutes to configure, but some things are really different about this one. So instead of it appearing as a dashboard or even a tab, it's up here in the corner and builds this shield icon for you, okay? And it does a couple of fun things for us, some of which are unique to this version. And this is our start screen on it, right? There's the tech tips and the use cases, all this good stuff. It'll go through and it'll show for you the latest batch of tech tips. And this comes from IBM support. And uh, what's near and dear to my heart, of course, is the videos. And a lot of these are by our good friend, Jose Bravo, and they tell you what's going on. It's walkthroughs on the best way to do it. It's the best intelligence most recently coming from our community, both inside and outside of IBM. But it's a lot of data, a lot of details for you. And I'm not going to go through all of this here, but I just wanted to point out that it existed. Uh, Watson integration is one of the fun new things. So uh, QRadar Advisor for Watson, sometimes called QRaw, has been in version one, and I am recording this in October of 2018. Very soon, I've got uh, QRadar Watson appearing in version two, which changes the game quite a bit. So we want you to be able to check quickly and say, are you ready for doing it, right? Is this something I could put in right now if I wanted to? So I click into this and it examines my Q radar and it says, okay, great, I can download the watch. And that's just like seeing the web page. The interesting part is down here. My Q radar version needs to be at least 728. It's 731. Uh, at least five system warning events within the last hour, which I definitely have. Um, I have a lot of offenses. My demo system creates crazy numbers of offenses. So the recommendation here, okay, and there's a drill down to give you some additional data on it, is that you have an awful lot of offenses at this level and maybe you should clean up your system a little bit before you try and engage a Watson. And okay, fair enough. And then a couple of other criteria you can see there in the screen. And you'll notice some of the checks fail, but I can choose to run it. It's just a quick and easy go through and say, I would love to add the cognitive intelligence piece to this, but is my system in proper shape? Is it cleaned up? And it goes and it does the work for you. Okay, now onto my favorite part of this, the uh, QRadar applications. So you will see here that it's got three that it recommends, right? Those are our big ones, all well and good. But it also says there is an available update for, in this case, UBA, which happens all the time. And I can click into this like we could in the prior version and say, oh yeah, please update my UBA, thanks. But it also did something interesting, and this is just kind of going through and upgrading the UBA while we're talking, where I added some, uh, some checkpoint data to this, where I hadn't had checkpoint data before in my QRadar. Do you want us to add the DSM for that? And I'm like, okay, thanks. So it added that DSM and um, no muss, no fuss, just done because it recognized the data going through. Okay, and this is something that you just pour it in, it works, but it's no muss, no fuss. It adds the DSMs, it adds apps from the App Store, either things because there's an update or because it recognizes the traffic. Okay, and this is the QRadar App Assistant 2.0 and I recommend the heck out of it. Thanks.